This is a great moment. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the yes. occasion. Enjoy. Oh, my gosh, yes. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> He's got the page, page. And welcome to GT Not Live, where today we are finishing our coverage of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition, the, the grand finale of our little series here. There are, I'm sure, dozens of other endings that we can get, but today we have set as the day that we're finishing this off by getting all the Stanlerines, as well as finding where the gym button, the gym buttons, that's, that's the feature I'm most excited about, the hole, the jump circle, because so far we've done a lot with the bucket, but I'm hopeful that we can find these other things. I'm assuming that they're buried somewhere in the game. Matt has looked at a walkthrough to make sure that we're not wasting a lot of time finding them. So you're good, Matt? Yeah. So I that... Just, well, yes. I do think you have some lofty ambitions. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. You don't think we can do it all? Well, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. With you. Here's the thing. You are the man behind the wheel today. Like, okay. With your expert guidance, mm. I hope that we are able to accomplish that. Okay. Okay? Sounds you feel good. good about that? Yeah. Also, congratulations to Matt. Uh, I saw you working on your backflips on your way into work today. Yeah. Sorry, he was laying on the floor. Yes, I, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been practicing. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's good. You're getting there. I'm trying. Yeah. The hard part about learning how to flip uh -huh. is the not... Cracking your skull open on the ground. That is tough. Yeah. Because there, it's, you have to commit. Yeah, it is. It's all commitment. I'm, uh, I've been practicing backflips at the, actually I've been practicing front flips at the, mm -hmm. uh, trampoline park. Yeah. Fr everyone's like, oh, backflips are so much easier. So much e back. I, I have not attempted one because mm -hmm. that freaks me out. Yeah. Going backwards mm -hmm. freaks me out. Whereas forwards, I'm like, oh, it's like a somersault. Yeah. And it's like, so long as you clear your head. Right. Like, this you know, you're much. safe. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, the head is the first thing that you're really clearing mm -hmm. as opposed to like, I guess it's, here's the thing. I guess it's. I think it's 50%? equidistant. I was going to say, actually, now that I think about it, it is equidistant. But one, your neck is Going literally like this. Back, I think You're it's like, woo! Harder, Whereas yeah. this one, it's tucked. Yeah. And tucking is like, okay, if I land on my head, it's just tucking. Yeah. It's just crunching me down. Landing on Whereas, the back of your head versus the front of your face. Right. Big difference. Yeah. Landing on the front of your face is just like, <laughs> oh, my neck has gone too far in this instance. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's what I've been working on. I've been seeing um, Ollie at gymnastics class where like, you know, obviously he's three, so he's just doing basic stuff. But, like, uh, the they do it at the same time as, like, you know, the 12-year-old, 16-year-old, like, people who have been doing it for years. Yeah. I'm like, that's, I always wanted to take gymnastics. Really good. I always wanted to. And I'm like. I took gymnastics. Did you really? I quit when the rings were introduced. Oh. That was when I was that's out. A, and that's a guy-centric thing. Yeah. Which is weird to me. I, I get why, I guess, because it's like, oh, guys have better arm strength and shoulder strength. Yeah. But it's weird that gymnastics has division. Like, girls can do the balance beam, but right. boys can do the rings. It's like, yeah, I bet boys could do a balance beam. Oh, like, certainly. Why, why would you not have... Like, that's, I feel, the biggest mistake of, of gymnastics is, like, having gender-specific categories. Yeah. Where it's like, no, like, why wouldn't you do... You know, I I think the balance beam is delightful. Oh, totally. Right? And near impossible. Right. And then you have the ones that are just like arbitrarily both of them, where it's like the, or not pommel horse, the, uh, the vault. Mm. Sprint at this thing and launch yourself. Totally fine. Equal opportunity for the sexes. Not an issue. Yeah. But, uh, uneven bars? Pff, no. Guys need them parallel. Yeah. Like, why, why do guys need parallel bars and girls need uneven bars? I don't know. Right? Why? It makes no sense. Gymnast theory. Whoa! But but the floor exercise, both of them can do. That's true. You know, uneven bars, what? Rings versus balance beam. Is there any other ones? What's the one where the dudes are on that thing and they're spinning around? Pommel them? horse. Yeah. Pommel horse is legit. That one's crazy. I okay. love pommel. I love me a good pommel insane. horse. insane. Right? <laughs> it's nuts. 
It's just like <laughs> the sound of it is also. I don't know if you've ever watched videos or watched pommel. I, I watch a lot of gymnastics when we're doing, uh, especially around Olympics time. Obviously, growing up, my my mom loved watching gymnastics competitions, and I was I always thought it was really cool. I always wanted to learn to flip, but there were no gymnastics area like gyms in our area that were affordable for us, uh, so I never got a chance to, unfortunately. Um, but man, I watched a lot of it, and yeah, the sound of the like hands on the pommels is really satisfying. Yeah. And then they're flipping around, and their legs have got to stay together the whole time. Yeah. It's very, very strange. It's a silly looking thing. To right. Me. It's like, of all the world of flipping and spinning and handstands, this <laughs> th- this is what you came up with? Really? Really? Okay. Sure. It's uh, gymnastics is just very arbitrary. Yeah. yeah. It's a nut sport. It is. Um, but the rings are hard. They're, I didn't have the upper body strength, yeah. and I refused to get it. It's all it's, it's all T-posing mm-hmm. the entire time. It's like, oh, look at him T-pose. So, uh, without any further ado, let's wrap up Stanley, shall we? Okay, Matt. So, with your expert guidance, what do we got going on? I think we talked to the guy at the beginning again. Oh, do we? Remember he promised us some sliders. Oh, he's going to do sliders. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Delicious tiny sandwich. <laughs> or scale on which you can answer questions i think it's the little sandwiches well okay please adjust the slider till the computer is barely visible this is this is good i always like like here technically it's barely visible to me that's too extreme this is good there you go please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends oh oh look at them They're kind of nestled in each other's... That's... Look at how happy they are! What happens if I go over? Oh, double hearts! Oh, is this too friendly? I think it's too much. I think that's too friendly. I think this is the right level of friendship. (laughs) Please just slide her until the number five becomes the number nine. (laughs) Wingdings. Greatest hits of wingdings. Nine, there we go. Please just slider until you stop adjusting the slider. I can do this all day. Oh, this is great. Adjust all the adjustments. I feel like that's probably enough. Probably enough adjustment. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's go max, max adjustment. Which of the two made up words below is not is most appealing to you? Uh, Acuboinkle or scrumtish? Scrumtush. Acuboinkle. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, scrumtush is simultaneously too close to scrumptious. And also just, it's not a very elegant word. Boy, this one has boink. That's fun. Please don't adjust the slider. Okay. I will not. Do you know what time it is right now? Yes. Is the time that is, wait, is the time that it is right about, right now, the correct, is the time that it is right now the correct time? Yes, the correct time. I mean, if we wait here for seven minutes, it'll be noon. No. What is the time anyway? That's true. Yes. (laughs) Yes. What is the time? Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yeah. Help. Yes, I will help. Will you come back to visit me? Yeah, I will. There's other endings I want to visit. Weird. Okay. Begin the game. Strange! That was fun. I like sliders. It's like a little personality test. This is a story. All right, Matt. Now, I could wander aimlessly for a while, but I'd love for your advice on the Stan Lorraines. Okay. So one, I believe, if I recall correctly, one is in a in a, a area with a bunch of boxes, yep. and one is red and blue. Correct. Um, I know, and we've only crossed them once, I think, in this playthrough, but there's the red and blue doors. I forget how to get there, though, because uh, there's so many different pathways. And then I'm assuming the bo- there's a lot of storage areas. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so where do I got to go? Gone. Um, what could it check mean? the cargo Stanley area. decided to go to the meeting room. Cargo area? Perhaps yep. he had simply missed a memo. Okay. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of rocket his co-workers. Launch, I think. Which... 
Maybe I can't get. Take the bucket though, right? Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, the embrace of an old friend. Okay. A weathered companionship that Three stands test the test of time. Stanley Sorry, and you said go to cargo. Right. Yep, yeah. And entered the door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. All right, let's check it out. Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was, was simply the place, the place to, to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, no, no enough. Never mind. The bucket was okay. wrong. Cargo Stanley room. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. I mean, it makes sense. No, it says a lot of boxes. Said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Ooh, yes. wait, wait. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't even have to tell you. No, I didn't. Yeah. no, actually, that's what is awesome. What's that vent? What's that? Turn, turn around. Right. Can you this, go in there. Right now, I'm conflicted. I want to go both. Wait, no, the, the, Matt. Look, there's a Stan Lorraine right there. Yeah. No. Yeah. I know. I tried. But I was, I was curious. Well, let's collect the Stan. That looks like it's gonna progress the story forward. Okay, fair. This looks like a place where I could collect the Stan Lorraine. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Lorraines. <laughs> soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and, and be that will be it. <laughs> we'll be different people by then. It's true. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them, and now we have, we have them, them all. all. I love that you can't arbitrary. go back to when you had no Figler and Lorenes. None of us can. That one doesn't work quite as well. Got to admit, not as big a fan of that one. There we go. Boop. Yeah, when you told me cargo, I'm like, oh, what, what, what am I missing? So there we go. Okay. Oh, this is this is new. Hello. What do we've got here? Ooh. All sorts of cassette tapes. Narrator dialogue, narrator. Oh, it's all the narr huh. All this narrator dialogue. That's interesting. What do we got? This is day number 295. <laughs> Tape number. Really? Okay. I don't even know. 295. I lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything Evidence. makes. 252. The sheer euphoria I feel. Every time I pick it up. This isn't the narrator, though. No matter how right? many times I've done it, it's, it's a different always voice. the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. It doesn't make sense. Oh my gosh. There's no explanation for it. I still... I haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Oh man, this is asking for lore right here. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? What? I can... I can monetize it. Oh, that's the YouTuber yes. way. You have content that makes you happy, monetize it's it. Thinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden what? ticket. What is this? But I have to be careful because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get. <gasps> oh no! What's that? Who's there? No way! It's continuing the like weird story of the bucket. I was wondering if that would actually stick. So this idea of him being this like monster creature thing, that's crazy, Matt. There's lore here. There's lore. I didn't expect there to be lore. Of course there's lore here. I, 
Of course. You think we're, this game's We're in a time looping game about your decisions not having any impact on your reality. Or well, Yeah, but if there's bucket lore, there's gonna be bucket lore. I just thought it was like a one off joke for one of the endings. Mm. But it's no, it's a continued through line through multiple endings now. <laughs> what? It seems like this is an episode. I Alright. I mean this is it. I this whole time and, and to be honest, right? Like people ask us all the time, like where do ideas for theories come from? You know, I, I look around online, I, I study games, I watch a lot of games, and obviously we play things here in GT Live that are at least interesting to me, and then I can dig in and see, like, oh, is there anything worthwhile here? This whole time, what is this, episode four? Yeah. At this point? Mm -hmm. This whole time I've been thinking about, like, what can we do here? I don't know. Like, could I come up with something about, like, infinite hole, jump circle? Yeah, there's ways that you can kind of stretch a theory, but I'm like, well, is it strong enough to really do it? But now, here we are, episode four... And, 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 it's, and it's funny, too, because when they said the, like, oh, the bucket from Gamora Hada or whatever it is, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if there's something there. And, and now to see that it's actually a thing? Yeah, I'm intrigued. There's lore. This is an episode. It's an episode waiting to happen. Unless, unless we, like, solve it through all the Stan Lorenes. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memory. Okay, so that was the bucket made cargo Stan hold. To be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps he would become both of those things. Cool. Waiting input. Okay. What uh? What do we got, Matt? So you're right about the red and blue doors. Okay. I forget how to get to them. Go to the cargo bay again. Hey, cargo bay. Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chair. This was not the correct way to okay. the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the is bucket cargo calling to, to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And okay, mean lounge. Was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. <laughs> no, never mind. mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley I wouldn't say took wrong. The just left mistaken. To go back to the meeting okay. room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Red and blue doors, are they... Okay, yeah, take me through. Remind me. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift way all the way, way to the top. Oh, There's something up there I need way. you to do. This one? Mm -hmm. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking This led to the bucket It should though, have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Okay. Oh! Oh, it's... Oh, but it says no buckets at this point. No, stop! Look there on the wall, you see? There's a sign right there. It says, so we have to no do this buckets. without the bucket. The bucket. That's what Stanley, it is, okay. do you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Well, here, I'm gonna just begin... Begin the game again? Yeah. Yeah. So no bucket this time. And then we'll find All a Stan of his workers were gone. Right, I was gonna say when you're like that way, I'm like, why are you not to able go to do the that? Meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, it's weird going without the bucket at this point. I feel kind of naked. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was nude not the without my bucket. The meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime. A work of art. Okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I disagree. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Here we go. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. It's funny to see, like, the normal pathway after doing the bucket for so long. Else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing... <laughs> Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration Dude, for others? Not at others? all. I gotta get the Stan Are you convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? Okay. I don't know how to convince you of this, Here but I really do want to help you. Okay, to red show and blue. you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove oh, it. Oh, buddy! Outside. Give me a chance. Here it is. And there it is. The last Stiggly Wiggly. Oh, Stiggly Wiggly! See this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. It's true. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted 
that a job well done true. is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all. Thank you. But that would be like a reward, and <laughs> I can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. Great. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Excellent. That was so worth now it. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Mm -hmm. What would you like to walk through, Matt? Red or blue? Let's do the red door. Red? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I agree. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stop. Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Great. Here. Let me show you. There you go. There we go. Mm. What do we want? <laughs> what are we looking for? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If nah. we just stay right yes. here, right in this... Mo no, wait. Where are you going? Here we go. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. I don't want to do that ending. I'm good, happy. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, <laughs> just stay here. Beautiful. All right. I don't really want to kill Stanley. You in the game again? Yeah. So we got all the Stanlerines. So now, okay. So that was goal number one, Stanlerines. We got somewhat of a reward, but not really. So now we are looking for Jim Button circle hole what do you got so i don't think we're quite done with the figurine ending no no okay should i go back to the figurine room I just just like play around a little okay okay oh wait wait a minute whoa oh that's stanley i'm sorry but i have to put a pause on this <laughs> no! it's just it's those figurines those figures. Oh, no, I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Oh no! Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your? It's pretty great. Life? It was pretty great. I gotta Didn't say. Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? Oh! I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines, just one more time. Oh, nostalgia for the figurines that we just collected. Let's try it out. Let's see. Oh, the memory zone. <laughs> when Stanley found the collectibles. Oh, yes, that was me. I did that. It was awesome. This feels like a reward to me, narrator. I, I think we're breaking some rules right now. <laughs> What's the door handle of? An elephant? Cool. Cool door knocker. Go down here. Oh. Ah, here's where it all began. It's true. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. <laughs> sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. It's true. Oh, seven! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're breaking the game. Yes, and then the bathroom. Great. This was a great memory. Remember? I'm like, hey, let's explore this bathroom. And then, oh, surprise! There was a figurine in there. And we were like, whoa, hey, a figurine. I remember that, Matt. I remember that very fondly. Do you remember that? I do. It was a good time. And here was a second Stan Lareen. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stan. I did. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. I, it's but a lot of them. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Although I remember it differently. I think there were words there. So, I don't know if this is an accurate memory. Oh, here we go. 
Ooh. Okay, let's do a little quiz. All right. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Third mini. So the f okay, under the stairs was four. So third would have been boss's office, I guess. Yeah, third was boss's office. There we go. Oh. Hey, that's exactly right. How could it I forget? Was here behind the boss's How could office. I forget? It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. It's true. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. <laughs> yeah. True story. That sounds like the sort of education that I would get from Wife Swap. You know? That's that's the sort of factoid that they deliver to you in the middle of a of a wife Let's swap see. episode. What came next? Oh, what? We're in like an apple oh, of yes, enlightenment. We found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it <laughs> must have happened. You know, collect it, but I, I this is not unless unless my memory is going. I, I don't think that was it, right, Matt? That seems that seems incorrect. The pink room. It is delightfully pink. <laughs> nice apple theming as well. Let's go left. <laughs> all, all the boxes. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so it's clearly. Great. This is a great moment. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the yes. occasion. Enjoy. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> He's got the page piece. <laughs> Oh, 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 this is like, this is like year one of game theory. Oh, this is wonderful. Yes, and we're just like ripping down stock images, like clip art. This is wonderful. Thanks for watching. Directed by the narrator, edited by the narrator. But same thing, best boy narrator starring Stan. That's <sighs> takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that was that video, wonderful. but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Oh, eight minutes. That was fast. Good for him. All right, let's see. Nope, not that way. Oh, the red and blue doors. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, true. the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. Yep. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. <laughs> Who can truly say how the mind works? Some all scientists. I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments, picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. No, this was the last one. Special that way. Twelve of six. So many. Ooh. Okay. I'll just go through either way. Ha! Huh. You are in the present. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. All right, Goodbye. move forward. Resume. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. <laughs> Is there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. What? See how that feels. What? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm all tangled up in my wire right now. All right, let's go backwards. Let's do it. Sure. Why not? Oh, this is wild. 
OK, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. Yep. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my oh, mind. For, well, Let's keep going. I want more. Wait, no, I want... 13? Oh, man. We are crushing it. We're going to get 102% completion at this point. It's great. 200% completion. Like, the old school Donkey Kong Country days were like, you could complete the game 300% if you found all the collectibles. It's like, that isn't how it works. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? It was great. Yes! <laughs> yes, I love that video. Me too, me too. That was, that was a memory worth reliving for sure. Absolutely worth a revisit. Okay, then we were in the pink room. And technically, I went through this way, if we're truly doing it in reverse. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no, no memory of this Giant one. Giant apple room, peach room. Though. A solid room. Okay. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Boss's These office. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. I agree. It's, it's funny, though. Uh, this reminds me a lot of Montessori, which is uh, a style of school or a style of teaching where it's all based on your own intrinsic reward. Like, not giving external rewards, but the idea of, like, you, you did the job. You know, how, how did it make you feel? You know, it's not about like, oh, great, you know, high five. or It's, it's all about like, oh, that is a piece of artwork. How does that, like, it's, it's about the, the person or the kid or whatever finding their own self. It's pretty interesting. But then you don't get gold stars. See, and that's the problem, right? <laughs> but, right? And then you don't become me, who is so extrinsically <laughs> motivated about like, oh, but I want the achievements. See, this is this is me. I'm like, I want the Stan Lorenes and I want to see the numbers tick up and up and up and up. I don't, I don't want to look inside for an intrinsic reward. Although I think I do that too, where like hard work is its own reward and I'm like proud of the things that I did. But yeah, I love me a good gold star. I want yeah. a gold star. Tell me how good my artwork is, man. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone huh. ever choose to leave it? Oh, Keep man. going. This feels very pointed. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. Yeah. What else is there? What came before this? Collect them all. Can you find them? <laughs> yeah. I remember this. I remember all of this. We were there. Look, oh. it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold oh, the jump circle. on. I remember hating it back then. The time does put a rosy huh. filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. That's funny. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More. Oh, yes. The two doors. <laughs> Who could have forgotten that? Oh, man. It's all nostalgia. Memory, this one. Classic memory. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something the I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Intro sequence? Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. Hmm. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. Huh. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with, huh. well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. Nice. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Huh. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps it's, I needed to that's imagine my relationship I had Let's companionship. And Stanley really lonely. Did I needed someone to make wonderful. decisions for me. Even if he came into fiction. existence. I'm kind of the but, narrator. Ah, I suppose yeah. it's grown old. I, you're, you're kind of I the want Stanley. to think for myself yeah. again. I want sure. to go back to how it used so. to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. 
I'll take care of myself. Huh. I don't need Stanley anymore. Wow. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Sure. Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story Aww. so very much. Okay, here we go. All right, let's give him one more this run. This is the story of a man <laughs> named Stanley. Great. This is so, it's so smart. It's so smart. This game is, I love it so much. All right, one, one more run of the office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So since he wanted us to do one more run of the office, should I run through the office, Matt? Do you know? I actually the... don't know. Okay. Because he's like, let's go back to the beginning. So I'm assuming we don't want to use the bucket. Here. Well, this is a chance to get a different ending, and then if there's something else, you can tell when me. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. There's a meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his downstairs. boss's office. Downstairs. We haven't done downstairs without the bucket. Yeah. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. This is a crazy one, yeah. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked Whoa! Down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh, no. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that it had been on the tip of his tongue. What is it, Stanley? He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer. Dream an theory. explanation. Fits his everything. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Great. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then Woo! he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head? Fair question. Everything that I'm doing and thinking. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly Layers strange. and layers. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Oh, the awareness is flooding through. Hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? What How else would the stars? voice explain all that? Stars. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. Okay. So he closed his eyes gently and he invited himself to wake up. 
He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Hmm. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife. Hey, he's got a wife. My job. There you go, lore. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Nope. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone oh. tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. I'm glad we gave him a last time through the office. You know, I think he deserved this. He really deserved this. That moment This clarity. is the story of a there woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place. See, it's work. very different without a but bucket. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. That's nice. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. <laughs> Everyone Judgy. knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Only had a real I am bucket. sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Nothing like seeing a but dead body on the street to make you feel good scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. Oh, she deep. had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. It's a real feel-good. That's, that's a feel-good ending right there. Really, really valuable lessons. Okay, so we gave Stanley his run through the office. Yeah. Now what? So uh, there's an epilogue. There, oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. The way that we get to the epilogue yes. is by closing the game okay. and starting the game. Closing the game? Closing the game and then starting the game. Okay. Am I going to get to do more sliders? As long as I get to do more sliders, that's all that matters. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to just give it a second. There we go. I thought that was part of the game. That was concerning. <laughs> I'm like, oh no! There went all our save data! We've done this for four episodes and it's I all gone. I was literally going to tell you to press continue because I thought that, that was the game like testing you. Right. Yeah. Okay, what time is it? Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now, the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither of us know what the time is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? I got them. I mean, I mean, who know. knows? Who knows if I'm real? Having Matt in the room is kind of like being alone. Am I in the room? Is this Matt in the room with us now? Maybe, maybe you're the voice in my head, mm. like the narrator. The narrator is the voice in my head. There it is. That makes sense. Yep. That's maybe the only information that I've really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. Oh, I'm going to be sad, actually. I like this opening every time. There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. 
It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. Oh, I want to find him. Where's he going? I'm so curious. Hey, epilogue. Okay. So yeah, do this. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Is this a story, Stanley? Okay. So excited. Oh, many, many years later. What ending are we considering canonical, though? Are we going to find out more about the bucket? Okay. Many, many years later. Wow. Unexpected. Here, there's something off in the distance. Let's fight. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, okay, never mind. Like the stars? Nope, apparently not. Oh, there we go. Nice office chair. Oh jeez! Oh no, that's not good. Listen, I I need more. I need more protection in this world. It's like a Mars dust storm. Oh, these chairs. Maybe they'll lead me. Maybe they'll guide me through the storm. Played enough video games to know that if there are there's detritus sprinkled around, you go from one to the next. Stanley's spiritual journey. Dawn of a new day. Huh. Oh, no, it's the memory zone. Oh no, the memory zone's collapsed. What's going on, memory zone? Got a generator. Can turn you on. Maybe you're already on. Oh, and all our figures are gone. All, all our awards. It's not okay. Any Stan Lorenes? Figlies? Nothing. <laughs> oh, here we go. What's this guy? Oh, review of the Stanley Parable 2 by Cookie Nine's blog. Uncompromising game content. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. For the first game teemed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory nobody asked for. An infinitely deep hole? Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say, though, I found the bucket to be quite comforting. A welcome reprieve. That's on the side, I think, fun. Go Guy on review Stanley Parable 2. Go Guy... Stanley Parable 2, sorry I haven't been blogging much. Snraf! I wonder what Snraf 3 is. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Oh man, it wasn't well rev reviewed? I find that hard to believe. Did not seem like a shameless cash in. Come on, guys. You just don't understand good game design. Oh! <gasps> Jim! This is where they have been? Jim! Yo! Jim is back! Oh, that is what I needed. Jim. Jim. Listen to that. Jim. I feel so included in this game now. I feel so seen. It's like all the cares and worries of MatPat wash off my back. Jim. And all Jim. the fun, Jim. freewheeling of Jim. You like being Jim, don't you? I love being Jim. 
You ever wonder? You ever wonder if you like just like lived in someone else's life for a day? What it would be like? Like, what if I switched places with you, Matt? Suddenly, I'd be back flipping my way to work. Yeah. Do you think you'd have fun? I think it'd be interesting. Yeah. I to me. That prospect of being in someone else's body for a day mm. isn't so much about fun. or I think it's more about, like, to learn from someone else's perspective. If you're in somebody's body, do you feel what they feel? Sure, yes. Okay. I think that's interesting, too. Hmm. Yeah. So you would have a nut allergy. Yeah. That would suck. That would suck. Yeah. I, I wouldn't know what to avoid or what to eat. Yeah. I would have no idea. Good luck. Like, is this a nut? I don't know. How sick mm. is this going to make me? It is a bucket. You would, have to, you, would have to come, <laughs> you would have to come in with, like, an instruction manual. Like, hey, hi, mm-hmm. I'm Matt. Here is so the... we're Freaky Fridaying then. Yeah. Okay. You want you want my life? I'm rule number one. Yeah. I'm getting a slide. Wow. Yeah. For Matt, so you're taking over my body so you can buy a slide for yourself. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. But no, like like when you buy a new house, houses should come with instruction manuals about like here's the stuff you need to know about this house. They don't really, and mm-hmm. that's a bummer. Yeah. Same thing with bodies. Like, hey, mm-hmm. I'm Matt. Nut allergy. Here's mm-hmm. kind of the list. Can't do backflips. General likes, dislikes. This yeah. doesn't agree with my gut biome. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Backflips. Feel free to try them out. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like pressing a button. Yeah. There we go. Stanley Parable developers. No more spinoffs, no more sequels. When the Stanley Parable launched in a, uh, to a massive success in 2013, so this is from July 9th of what year? Maybe it's made up. Its creators made plans to build the property into an entire franchise, but a disastrous critical and commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions as outlined in a press release they published today. It's clear that the, that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want, reads, reads the press release. We thought that we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about, yet it turns out this could not have been further from the truth. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times. Ooh, but we can also get get on the green. Oh, that's a shame. We've been deprived of more Stanley because of Jim. Jim. You know what? Taking a nice sweet hit of the gym button though makes it all go down smooth. Makes it all feel that much better. Are these still Jim? Stanley. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! For a brief moment there, it said Stanley. 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 Jim. Whoa. What's that in the corner? Oh, hey. Fan art? Or maybe like art of the developers, maybe? Huh. There's a Stanley button now, Matt. They've expanded. Jim. 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 I kind of like the Jim button more. I do too. That's nice, though. It is, yeah. No, it's great. I'm glad we found it. Stanley. I feel good about that. Ooh, hello. What do we got over here? Ooh. Oh, Stan Lorene's. Yes, collect them all. Oh, they're all right here. So satisfying. I have 26. That's fantastic. So many collectibles. Thank you for enjoying the new content. You're welcome, game. Not a problem. Ah, hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developers said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that the nar- you see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together, you and I, we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change the number on the, the game's title screen. We also really need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. 
Go ahead. Try combining some random words together to get a new title for the game. Oh, okay. The Stanley Parable 3. No More Tuesday. I like that. The Stanley Parable 3. No More Tuesday. What do you think? I think it's perfect. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I like that. No More Tuesday. Stanley Parable 3. No More Tuesday. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. On one end, I think that's kind of funny. I, I think it's, I like it, but also I feel like the correct answer is don't do it. Do you have, is there an answer I'm supposed to give, Matt? Um, I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to say let's do it. Good, then it's agreed. New sequel every time you start the game. You know what? Since you've put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I've no I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you that broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to, to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see? I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. Shoot. There we go. 1240. Please adjust the slider. Okay. Thank you. Please enjoy. The Stanley Parable. Oh, you're playing Stanley Parable 3. No more Tuesday. Yes! Yes! Huh. And if I begin it, I'm assuming it's just the same thing, right? That's a great title. No more Tuesday. It's a win. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he's all the same, I'm assuming. Employee yeah. number 427. Uh, employee yes. Number yeah, that's correct. Job so should I restart it and see what Stanley Parable 4 is? Yeah. 427, and he pushed buttons on okay. Keyboard. Let's try it again. Let's see what Stanley Parable 4 is. Oh, one second. There we go. Stanley Parable 4! What are we going to choose? Here we go. Stanley Parable 4. Ooh! Uh, let's see. Race to the... Stapler? Unforgivable... Co-worker? I like Dr. Stapler. Ooh, Dr. Stapler! Good one. Good choice. Thanks. Yes! Yes! I love these title screens. This is wonderful. So, then is that the game? You did it. Huh. That's the game. Oh. It's kind of sad. That's a little bit sad. So, what do you think, Matt? Interpret, interpret the game for me. Uh huh. <laughs> interpret. I know your like, coffee's kicked in. It. It's it's whatever the time I put. Twelve forty. Yeah. Like <coughs> like start to finish the whole game. What's the epilogue mean? You know, it's a comment on sequels. Yeah. A better question is where do you stand with the whole running it into the ground thing? <sighs> it's like, you know, it's a good question. I think. I think my idea is you you let it stop. Yeah. Yeah. Unless <laughs> unless you think that there's still good to be had out of it or like there's more story to tell. Yeah. 
I think you you end it. Mm. So so for me, right? Like I think a good example of this is Toy Story three and Toy Story four. Yeah, I think Toy Story three ended the story that was meant to be told with that set of characters, right? And then you hop into Toy Story four, and it felt like it lessened the legacy a little bit because what had been a very clear narrative arc seemed less you know it seemed a bit ruined or it seemed like unfocused yeah and so to me if you end at toy story 3 great awesome toy story 4 now you're starting to run it into the ground Mm -hmm. and you lose a lot now that there's buzz like the buzz lightyear movie that's coming out or whatever i see that and i'm like why yeah and and so the excitement that I once had for that franchise is kind of lessened because they have run it to the ground, right? Star Wars is is in a lot of the same way, right? Where you don't understand this because you've never seen Star Wars. But, you know, at a certain point, you start getting diminishing returns from the movies as they try to milk it for more. And I think that's why stuff like The Mandalorian has worked really well because it's like, hey, we're taking the legacy of this one thing, but we're using it to build something new. And I think that's exciting. And so for me, if you have more stories to tell, or if you're leaving it in the hands of people who have fresh ideas or new, you know, new elements to bring to the table, then yes, 100%. I think you can, you can do that. Okay. But for like Stanley, like take Stanley Parable, I think everything that you could do about choice in your own life and, and the futility of choice or lack thereof or whatever, Stanley Parable 1 does a really good job of. Two dlc ultra deluxe whatever you want to call it comes in in this new landscape of gaming to deliver commentary on the cash grab sequel and things like that and i think it does a good job of doing that yeah but from that point forward unless there was and it feels like the right time right you know Mm -hmm. The gaming landscape, it's its however many years after the initial Stanley Parable, the gaming landscape has changed so much. So now there's something for it to comment on in the way that the game comments on it. And I think that's the other component to this is like they waited until the right time for there to be more story to tell. And now there is. Yeah. What about you? You're you are an artsy guy. Yeah. What's your thought? Um, I, I agree with you in that it's all about intent. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with making sequels. Yeah. In fact, often they can be good. Oh, 100%. They're really fun. Yeah. Um, but you're right in that they have to be made earnestly. Yeah. And and not just for for capital gain. Right. Because I'm thinking, the one that I think of... Yeah, I was going to say, do you have examples? Yeah, Evil Dead 1, 2, and 3. Oh, yeah, Evil Dead, where sure. it's like... Very Sam Raimi of you. Yeah. I'm, I'm on a big Sam Raimi kick now. Oh, man, are you going to go watch Multiverse of Madness? I might. I don't know. I did watch WandaVision, so I'm like... <laughs> what i was sick like a year ago and i watched all of wandavision you did i know is that your first and only mcu thing that you've watched i like iron man okay. is that the second and <laughs> perhaps that's fine no that's fine um wow yeah i might okay. uh, but evil dead one two and three i think are great examples of just fun sequels that were made because they wanted to make them yeah right evil dead three i think is the perfect example of did not need to be made oh f- f- right was made for fun yeah and wasn't a clear cash grab at least in my opinion oh no i mean i would agree with that yeah it's, and it's... i don't think it tainted the first two either no and, and i think that's that's one of the interesting things there is that one is so different from what came before mm-hmm. which also affords you more leeway right like when i think about the evil dead trilogy mm-hmm that third one, like, that third one is in a weird place yeah. with it, which is totally fine. And, yeah, I don't consider it tainting the other ones because it's very clearly just a different way to take the franchise. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, man. If you're on a Sam Raimi kick. Yeah. Okay. The Multiverse of Madness is, like, the most Sam Raimi of Sam Raimi. Okay. Like, it is basically his greatest hits all thrown mm. together. It's like, hey, you like this this fight scene from Spider-Man 2? Here you go. Hey. Yeah. You like this twisty ca- zoom camera shot towards the door? We're going to do that a bunch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Is it gory? Multiverse? Yeah. It's as gory as you could probably get okay. with a Marvel movie. So not very... Like, yeah. If you're coming from Evil Dead, no. Yeah. But, you know, it's PG-13. Okay. But as far as, like, wow, I'm surprised that he was allowed to do some of this stuff. Mm. Like, there are certain moments that I'm like, oh, like, I was taken aback yeah like oh this is actually horrific maybe i'll watch it yeah let me know okay i'd be curious i'd like i'd love to talk to you about a a modern day blockbuster (laughs) okay cool cool deal 
Huh. So there you go, friends. Stanley Parable 1, 2, 3, and 4. Stanley Parable 4, Dr. Stapler. It's great. I love this game. I, I love the sense of humor. I love the meta-ness of it. I think it's it's endlessly fascinating. And like I said, there are other endings that we didn't get to, both with and without the bucket. But this feels like a good place to kind of wrap things up. We've done a good chunk. It seems like we've gotten to the point of what the, the game was trying to tell us. I am really curious about the lore of the bucket, though. So I'm going to be playing this one off camera. Uh, we're going to be digging around for maybe to say, hey, maybe there's a theory in here somewhere about what is actually the story of the bucket. I'm kind of curious what it has in store for us. Um, so there you go. Please support the game if you're at all interested in it. Uh, it's, it, it, it's these sorts of games that really are smart. I, I, I like that it's smart. I like that it, it's thoughtful and that it takes the legacy seriously in a lot of ways. So um, thank you for watching over the last couple of playthroughs of this. Uh, for, you know, going through the time loop so many times. Stay away from any mysterious endless holes in the ground. I don't trust what you're seeing in there. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya. Mm.